Good morning, everybody. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Still wrapping the taco sunglasses because here's the closest thing I could find this morning. I'm um, getting out for my run. So we are not going to the suburbs today, which meant I'm not running from Wrigleyville to the south side. I'm gonna run um, similar to what I ran two weeks ago in my 18 mile run on the lakefront. But we're hopefully gonna see some friends along the way because there's the, the, the 20 mile run for a lot of the train groups are today as well. Um, I got out later than I expected, by like two hours, but I think that's for, you know, it's a give and take of, uh, that's two hours that Sarah probably had both kids awake, but two hours more for me to rest before this long run. And honestly, everybody, all the kids, Sarah and I were all sleeping extra later than we expected because of the tiring Friday and Saturday. So let's get 20 miles done, right? No big deal, I guess. I'm lost. There's definitely a race about to start over there, but I have no idea what the race is. Um, I think this was Diversity Harbor. In the ACS email, they said that they were gonna be at the Diversity Aid Station. Diversity is like over there, but I think the Kara route is all on the lakefront. So, kind of killing my running flow, but I really wanna see my ACS friends. All right, our adventure to find ACS comes to a semi-anticlimactic end. Um, none of my ACS friends were working today. They, a lot of them worked yesterday for the Chicago Endurance Series uh, 20 miler. So there are a different group of people out, but I found the tent, they're setting it up because I think, I think the 20 milers started not too long ago. And I think they're towards the end. So they've got like, you know, if even if you're a speedy runner, it's still a long run to run 20 miles. So I think they like got here at the start of it to set up but still great to see ACS supporters and volunteers. We're all one team, right? Um, all right, now I'm gonna try not to let this deviation from my typical route mess with my, my subtle OCD that I do get sometimes, especially when it comes to run, running routes. Um, but it's all time on the feet, right? There's keys right here, watch out. Don't get too close. Good morning. <laughs> um, look at my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're watching Miss Rachel. Hold on. Okay, I paused it. I paused it for a second. Um, I don't know how much Peter mentioned. He's on his run. He's well into his run. Um, James is not feeling good. He was up coughing. Now he has a runny nose. So our plans today have changed. Again, I don't know how much Peter had said. Um, we were originally gonna go on the south side. He was gonna run there from here. Now he's running the lake and we're just hanging out at home. Um, my throat's a little scratchy, but otherwise everyone seems fine. And actually James is in really good spirits. He did sleep in. Um, so like clearly he probably needed it. Uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna, everything com kind of comes to halt a halt now. Um, but that's all right, tidying up. Got Miss Rachel on, playing, gonna keep it, keep it simple. This was actually the reason I turned on the camera. Oh my gosh, I got shown this today on my Instagram story ads. Whenever I film my laptop, I can just see how dirty it is and I'm sorry and I'm embarrassed by it. I didn't even, I didn't even see this other merch. Anywho, that's just, that's just how my laptop is right now. I swear, I'll clean it after this clip. So this, unintentionally, will be our Christmas celebration of the day, 98 days until Christmas. Um, 
I pre-ordered it. It is his Christmas music on two vinyl records. So four sides of amazing music. We love, we listen to Leslie Odom Jr.'s Christmas music year round. You guys know this, just how we are. Um, but to have it on vinyl and they're green and red discs, like really cool. Um, it comes with an ornament. It comes with a signed card from Leslie Odom Jr. Um, so cool. So that's our little, we might do something else Christmas Eve today. Who knows? Um, but that came about and I'm like, this year, I feel like, I feel like so much is happening the end of this year, like events and things like this that are being released and like Phil Rosenthal's book and we're going to his book signing. And I just feel like the end of this year has been like catered to us. Like all of our favorite people are doing big things and we get to be a part of it and it's like so cool but like I'm also like why is why is so much good stuff happening excuse me sir you're off your play mat oh you got Mickey you love your Mickey check it out sun is almost out there's Sarah's fountain say hi fountain hi um, beautiful day, beautiful breeze. I love Chicago Runners. Everyone's being so supportive and everything. There's a lot of Kara support groups out, medical, hydration, nutrition out. Um, during, cause I'm like on, for the most part, I'm on their path. I kept deviating a little bit. Um, one of you guys said hi to me. We had just watched Chicago 2021 vlog. So awesome, thank you. Hope you enjoy your second run and you have a good long run Kara 20 miler. Um, what am I at? I'm at almost eight miles. I have two and a half miles to, until I turn around, I have to like modify that because of going to look for ACS and diversity. I don't want to do that scrambling off the lakefront on the return route. So I'm going to add a half mile further out before the return to eat up that little adventure. So, um, we're getting it done. We're getting it done. Feeling good. Southern, I'm gonna go pretty far south. Actually, we have a. Uh, let me turn around here. We're actually past McCormick Place there. Kara, I think, is going one way. I thought I thought maybe they were a loop, but Kara's still going. Like, there's a turn right there to go off, and they're at like mile 14 and a half right here of their 20 mile. So I ran a good amount of the Kara. 20 mile with that group, which was nice to have. Like there were some people cheering aid stations, water stations, hydration stations, all those kinds of things. I think that's Northerly Island or maybe the former. I don't know what the deal is with that. I used to have concerts, used to have a airstrip until a mayor got angry and like ripped it up in the middle of the night. Per Chicago politics. Look at that beautiful skyline, best in the world. Can't even debate me on it because I'm irrational and I wouldn't listen to you anyway. I mean, come on. I know I'm an irrational person, and I just said I wouldn't listen to your debates, but it would be a hard debate. Not a hard debate. Look at that. Be yay beautiful. How did I forget about the hair grabbing stage of these little babies? <laughs> He's been getting me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You better not. You better not. <laughs> you got my shirt. It's better than my hair. Who's that cute baby? Peter is kicking butt. He's nearing the end. He's getting tired. Um, well, can we just talk about how like it's not normal to just run? run 20 miles um I told him like listen to your body like he is like he did get back into the swing of things I've been so proud of him he's doing such a good job to prepare for the Chicago Marathon and then Dopey Challenge it is just not an easy an easy task um and obviously like the big events are like wow like you ran a marathon wow you ran a ultra marathon like but the 
I like we this is in like some video in like not inspirational well, it is inspirational um a video that Peter has watched before about these two men who are running a hundred miles they they talk about in that video I'll link it below they talk about the miles that go into like training for that event all the time all the effort like how it interrupts your life like all of that is like the true feat and like just like the mental emotional physical aspects of that that training and all that time um that that's like that is a huge accomplishment on its own so amping up peter from afar but goodness 20 miles today is certainly not easy and he got out a little bit later these boys got a kick but dad that is for sure in many ways not just because he runs a lot but we are proud of him for running a lot finished it got really hot at the last couple miles but i did it i'm gonna go home and clean up all right famous is going to walk to take a fall asleep for a nap i need body armor and to keep the legs from locking up after sitting after cleaning up and changing after my run so perfect little combination here the man of my dreams just brought me a pizza puff he's on a nap walk with james and he just said can you come to the window and he handed me this before he did that i was treating myself to a baked potato in a bowl with sriracha ketchup and a caramel apple and kombucha and now it's just like quiet in here and I'm just eating. I mean, there's still one, one little one in my grill, but she's kind of, she's not barking. Knock on wood. Happy Sunday to me. You're so sweet. Give him hugs. Oh, you're so sweet. Good hugs. Oh. <laughs> then you throw them. Right, you were having Al's beef for dinner. What did we decide, Peter? We decided that we're gonna be plant-based. In our control. In our control, meaning like when we go out to eat after today, if it's just us going out with the plant base. At home will be plant based. But like if we're like Christina's house, it's just cooking like a bunch. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And like fish with air hearts, so we just make lots of that. Um, so that's our grand finale for this time around. How many people do you recognize in these pictures? All right, since James isn't feeling good, we didn't want to keep him in a restaurant, you know, germs. So we're walking home, and I uh, the fries were scalding hot because they were scaldingly fresh, just like how Al's Beef does it. But that's not good for Jamesy. So uh, I put him up here, and I said, look at this cool trick I came up with. And Sarah called it a... Uh, I don't remember. It's like a Trixie Wixie or something? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Traxie Waxie? A Kula Shabula? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is what he does when he's waiting for his next, his next French fry. There you go, baby. Teddy, you have so much eating to do and catch up with. Oh, you're not in trouble. Don't worry. <laughs> what he, the he like looked up. Was like, oh. This is my favorite Halloween decoration there is. When we have a house, we're gonna put one on our tree. Scares, scares, you, too <laughs> scares you too much. Jamesy's concerned. Now here's the dinner. So when we got the Polish Max Street style for James, it comes with like the grilled onions, mustard, sport peppers, the whole shebang. I got a big beef hot dipped. James is indulging in, he's already eaten some of the Max of the Polish. He loves it. Sarah just mm. got a regular beef hot dipped. It's so good. It smells. Like divinity. Best. This is the perfect send off. Feels weird to sit and eat though. Okay, Sarah from Tuesday afternoon here with um, with a sign off. So 
after dinner and bedtime of this vlog on Sunday. Um, things just kind of took a strange turn. James did not want to sleep. Um, it's like that's where we kind of left off in the video um, was that night. And yesterday we just sort of played catch up all day. Peter even took off some work um, just because like literally James did not fall asleep until the middle of the night on Sunday. Um, we're all just sort of getting through, kind of getting back on track. Teddy now isn't, he's, everyone has been in good spirits with this little bug we've got going on, but now he's congested and we're just resting, taking it easy. Um, so yeah, sorry for that quick jump. Um, but that is life and it happens, I suppose. Um, any good vibes you want to send us, that would be that would be appreciated. We're just doing our best over here for now. I do think we're going to vlog today, though. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.